Hi guys, Janet here again from The Empty Nest, and we're not painting today. Um, we're gonna be playing with some really fun stuff. Let me show you what we're going to do. Look at these. Can you believe it? Are they like not the cutest things you've ever seen? And don't they look real? We're gonna make bird's nests. So I've already made like 80 million of these. I'm kind of addicted to them now. So what we're gonna need, it's very, very simple. This is, I've already pulled some off of here, but normally this is like an oblong shape. This is those liner things made from coconut, shredded coconut shells or coconut hair, whatever you call it. You get them at like Lowe's, Home Depot, any garden center. And they're compressed and there's like multi layers. You can see here how I can separate it. And even if I pull off and just pull gently and it'll come off. And then even within this piece, I can separate it again and make it even thinner. There we go. See, it opens up even more. So what we're gonna do, and let me also say this, I don't know what they put on it. It's got some kind of a um, covering on it, a coating that makes it stick to itself to compact it like this, but it doesn't stick to your hands. I mean, your hands are dry, so it's really cool. So I don't need any hot glue or anything. So depending on the size nest you wanna make, that's how much um, this fiber you're gonna pull off. It doesn't take a lot of fiber. You can make teeny tiny nests. Look at that. Can you believe that? Yeah, pretty impressive, huh? You can make a little bit bigger, even bigger still. Uh, you can make them big. Um, it just depends on whatever you wanna do. If you see some wooden chunks like this, pull them out because they're not gonna work well. So you've got your little piece here. It's very thin. You want it nice and thin. And just kind of elongate it a little bit, just gently. You don't want to pull it apart to separate it. You just kind of want to make it long like that. Then I'm just going to start at one end. And like I said, this is a little tacky, so it'll kind of stick to itself. So just take the one end and kind of make like a little knot there, just a little bulb. And then you're just going to start winding it on itself in a spiral. See how I'm doing that? And I'm holding and just folding it right onto itself. And just compress and push as you go and it'll just kind of stick to itself. You can fold it, you can tuck parts in and just keep going and tuck and tuck it in. Like see, that's too much at the bottom. See, that's too much there. So what I might do, I'll just pull some of that off. There we go. It's really easy stuff to work with. Now I'll just keep wrapping. And just keep wrapping. And then just start, once you got it wrapped, just push in with your thumbs. It's gonna all stick. There you go, look at that. How cute is that? Look, and it's gonna stay together. It's not gonna come apart. You can leave these little wispies, or if you choose to, you can snip them off. You know, it, it's up to you how you want your bird's nest to look. I'll do another one too. We'll do another one to show you how quick and easy this is. So here's another long piece. Okay, let's just take this piece. It doesn't take much. This is a little woody piece there. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, again, I'm gonna twist the end. Then I'm just gonna start wrapping it on itself. Just keep going and I'm kind of pushing it and compressing it as I go, holding it tight. And it's just sticking to itself. And then you just, once you get to the end, just kind of use your thumbs to just compress it in. And then you have a little bird's nest. And then what you can do, you can see what I did over here. I bought some of these at my local craft store and I just cut two of them off. So for the holidays, how cute is that golden eggs? And I also bought some clay, Fimo clay, and I have it in a beautiful kind of a duck egg blue here. Isn't that pretty? And I just take a little piece and I just started rolling it. And just kind of mold it. So you just kind of mold and compress till you have a little egg shape. And then, look at that. How sweet is that? I mean, I am just so in love with these things. 
Um, we've made little ones like this and we've backed them with um, doilies and glued them on for pins. We're putting them on lampshades, um, Christmas decorations. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Look at that. How cute is that? I made a little one and this is just a little vintage pie tin. I took a uh, photocopy of Blenheim Palace. I bought some coasters when I was in England, when I went to Blenheim Palace, and I had the coaster photocopied, cut the paper out, I Mod Podged it into the back, and then I just hot glued the little nest in there. And these little blue eggs, they're just those little styrofoam beads on um, flower arrangements. Just cut them off. If they're not the right color, paint them with Annie Sloan paint, and you can make them exactly the color you want. I glued in a little bottle brush tree. I've got some snow techs in there, and of course, German glass glitter all around. I glued some little vintage uh, tinsel around the outside with a little antique lace holder, and how sweet is that? So you can really have fun with these bird's nests, but I am gonna warn you, they are severely addictive. Um, I'm probably going to sit here today and make like another hundred. So um, that's it. It's that easy. So go get some of this coconut stuff at your garden center and whip up some bird's nests. Bye.